Hello and welcome to another AutoCAD 2007 3D CAD clip and uh, we're going to talk about the camera um, tool here on our 3D Navigate um, control panel on our dashboard and I've just got some prop objects in here as I usually do. I'm going to switch over to be conceptual view for instance and cameras are pretty easy you just drop them in and, and look. The thing about a camera is it has a camera height and a target height and then basically it looks in that direction and we have clipping planes which we can turn on and off with our cameras and I usually find that setting myself to a plan view. Oh I've got a camera in there I'm going to delete that. Um, and I find you know place them in a camera view to start with so I'm going to go in here and simply say camera. You'll notice that some of these have flyouts too here on the way. Camera. And then it says, okay, specify camera location. You know, and notice that when you place the camera, it always looks back towards zero, zero. You'll notice as I move this around, I'm going to move everything over to there. Okay, now my zero, zero is here. Watch when I place my camera, even though I'm going around these objects, okay, it's always trying to look back at zero, zero, which isn't a big problem. Okay, because we can still go over here and place our camera or place it here and then we place the target. Now you have to be careful because when you use your object snaps, it'll pick up those endpoints and stuff like that. So be cognizant that it is picking up object snaps. So I'm going to just pick a point out here and then it's going to leave me with some options inside of their clipping planes, etc. And then I'm just going to hit an enter. Now I have that camera on there and down in here if I hit this expand button down in here see some great stuff for recording animations and stuff I can turn basically camera display on or off so if I create you know a couple of different cameras around here okay I can turn those cameras on and off then I can click on the camera and it shows me a preview and I can you know have that show or not show in there and I can also pick my display visual style that I want in there. The, the other thing is is as you place cameras it's creating views with names. Okay, You can click on a camera and you can check the properties of it. Okay, And it says okay this is camera 1. Now notice the camera Z and the target Z. That's why you're always kind of looking down from the ground. So the first thing I usually do with a camera is click on it and I check the properties and I usually bump up like maybe I'll take the target Z and I'll put it at you know 10 units high and you'll have to know what units are relative and my camera I'm going to put at maybe you know 50 units high which kind of raises it up and you can see the preview. So I'm going to go back and maybe I'll make that 500 units. You'll see that that angle changes. Okay. Now as I go in here now I can click on this you know and I can you can see the preview happening in the bird's eye well maybe I want to take that bring that target there and then I can work my way around the objects over here okay and you can see that quite nicely okay you can get right inside and depending on where your target is depends on what you'll see when you get inside there okay hit a, and then I can even hit escape do a regen and then maybe zoom out and then click on here and you know depending on how far you're zoomed out or zoomed in you can have that picture in picture okay you can also click on here again in properties front clipping plane you can put clipping right now by default notice how this one is going to be called camera oh I have more than one selected properties camera name is camera 3 okay clipping on maybe that one has the the front and back clipping planes on so what happens there is we can click on that camera now and we can set that those clipping planes to be a certain distance away you know by adding in some numbers 500 and 1000 okay it'll capture part of that you can go in and use your calculator as well so um, you can add those clipping planes in a front clipping plane and, um, is the the front one and then the back clipping plane is the back clipping plane you can control those through the properties or with grips if it clipping is actually turned on most times 
clipping is turned off so it's kind of ignored okay we also have some grips over here lens length okay if you want to narrow the scope of your lens as you're moving that around okay with your camera okay notice how this one still has a, a, a camera height of zero let's change that to be 500 again oops let's make it a thousand units high okay now I can move that around etc okay and those cameras also show up if you look in you know these type of views you can see that camera again you can kind of move that around do stuff with it the square grip actually moves the camera okay these change the um, lens size by going in and out this way and then this moves the target the actual target so get used to the different grips and you know as you change your your viewpoints here you'll be able to see those cameras if they're actually turned on so of course the idea is to you know get one of your cameras and then you can let's see if we right click on that we can say set camera view and then it'll actually go to that view and you don't maybe need this guy over here anymore and when you do that you can then go in and you can pick on these points again and change those options for that particular camera as well if you go into paper space of course and we make a viewport okay inside of here okay we can type v for view and you can say okay i want this to be you know camera two or you know i want it to be camera three or i want it to be camera one okay so each viewport can have a different camera view so we can zoom that down and go in there and do what we want with that okay and then we can maybe copy that viewport around doesn't matter in our paper space and then the idea of course inside of here is we say you know click in here and set that one to be camera one and set this one to be camera two this one is camera three or we can set it to be whatever view we want okay so that's what we can do and then we can name those cameras accordingly by going back into our paper space as long as our cameras are turned on and select that camera and then check the properties the name x y and z mainly it's the z's you want to be able to change inside of here okay and then it also i believe it looks like it's being relative to the ucs or something inside of here so um try playing with these numbers a lot of this stuff here is the uh, also happens when you um, when you change these grips. You'll notice that these numbers in here start to change. It also appears there's a plot button, yes or no. So I would think that it would either be plotting the camera or not plotting the camera. And we'll see some more stuff with animation, etc., in the near future. So. Um, there's just a couple of tips on uh, getting cameras in. Pretty straightforward. Pick the camera tool, pick a point, place it, and then have a look maybe at the help menu and set some more options. Basically, I just place it, and then after you set your notice your Z, change your Zs, etc. You could also go in here and and move the camera just by going into, for instance, let's go to my right hand side view. Okay, and I can grab that camera and I can also move that camera up just by doing that, going into that view. Okay, going back to my 3D view, click in here, so off you go. So um, put your cameras in and then rename the views and then take those views and put them in paper space and plot them out.